In this session, I'm going to discuss content boosted collaborative filtering. What it means is that the two main approaches for developing recommendation system, that is collaborative filtering and content based filtering are not mutually exclusive. They can be combined and there are very good reasons for combining the two ideas because if we look at the advantages and shortcomings of collaborative filtering and advantages and shortcomings of content based filtering then we see that the advantages or strengths of both the collaborative filtering and content based filtering are complementary in nature that means if we combine both the approaches then we get best of both the worlds and such approach is called content boosted collaborative filtering. And what is done in this approach is that content information is built into a collaborative filtering system to improve its performance. So how do we do that? So let's understand this using an example. Let's say we want to recommend movies to users based on content boosted collaborative filtering. And to do that, the data from two different sources is considered. First source is each movie data set which contains data which is suitable for collaborative filtering. That means it contains rating for different movies by different users. And there are in total 1628 movies and it contains user ratings for movies on 0 to 5 scale. And there are total 72916 users with an average of 39 rating per user. So this gives us a user item rating matrix, which is very sparse and the sparsity is 97.4%. That means out of 1000 cells, only 26 cells have rating entry in them. So the user rating matrix is actually very sparse. The second data source is IMDB dataset, which contains content based filtering data. That means it contains description of movies and the description includes movie title, director, cast, genre, year of release, duration, other related movies and ratings and reviews by critics, newspaper and user. So with these two data sets, what we do is first corresponding to each movie in each movie data set content information is extracted from IMDB data set and a movie content data set is created. So now this has the feature information of all the movies corresponding to each movie data set and that we denote by XI. So XI will be the feature vector for ith movie in our each movie data set. Next we use the user rating matrix to extract for a particular user the ratings for the items which have been rated by that user. So in this way for a particular user we can generate a data set consisting of XI and YI where XI is the feature vector for ith movie and yi is the rating given by the user to ith movie. So here note that this data set consists of only movies that have been rated by a particular user. So here we see that we have a user rating vector where only few of the movies have been rated by the user and rest of the movies have not been rated by that user. So we take these ratings which are our labels that is yi and we combine these labels with the feature vector obtained from movie content database and we train a content based predictor for this user that gives us a full user rating vector which we call pseudo user rating vector and we do this for all the users so Using that, we get a full pseudo user rating matrix. Now, once we have the pseudo user rating matrix, we can select any of the user as our active user and we can perform 
collaborative filtering for that active user where we use pseudo user rating metrics to find similarities between active user and other users and obtain collaborative filtering based predictor and such predictions are called content boosted collaborative filtering.